Uh, we have Cosmo Films reported a weakest set of first quarter numbers with revenue and margins as well as profits, all of them declining on a year-on-year -year basis. Pankaj Podar, who's the group, group CEO, joins in now. Pankaj, uh, thank you for joining in. It's, it's um, you know, uh, tough times for the industry from a cycl cyclical standpoint. Just wanted to understand uh, that, you know, your portfolio, nearly two-thirds of that is the specialty segment. There's still been a hit on the margins. Can you explain how does this work? Because usually specialty segments, uh, you know, not, do not get impacted so much by the cyclicality. And did you make any loss in uh, the commodity films business? Yeah, hi. So as far as the uh, commodity segments are concerned, the polyester uh, was making losses and uh, they are expected to make uh, losses for some more quarters because of the excess supply situation. However, when it comes to BOPP, uh, the last quarter we made some small money on the, uh, you know, on the commodity films as well. And we, what we feel is that the worst is behind because in BOPP, four new lines had come up in last 12 to 18 months and uh, most of the capacity is now uh, getting consumed. So uh, the BOPP spread should ideally go up from here. Uh, obviously, there were a couple of other highlights in the quarter which were uh, which impacted the results by close to 4%. One was there was a one-time stock loss of 20 crores. And what we feel again is that uh, raw material prices will now start going up and therefore there should be stock gains in the coming quarter. And second is there is a Ziggly uh, pet care loss of uh, 7 mm. crore which uh, will remain for some more quarters uh, before we start to break even. But the good news is that Ziggly, the month-on-month -month sales is scaling up for us and uh, there'll be a point in time when we'll start focusing very aggressively on cutting down losses and uh, making the business profitable. All right. Hi, Pankaj. Been a long while since we had a chat, but good to know that at least on the Bopet side of things, the commodity side of things, I think you're saying that you're making some kind of money out there. Give me a basic detail first between Bopet and Bop. Uh, what, is, what is your uh, revenue mix, if you could tell us? And also, uh, uh, you know, what are the current spreads on both of them? Yeah. So see, for us, uh, the BOPIT is very small, which is uh, right now making losses is close to 15%. Uh, BOPP, as I said, the worst is behind. Uh, the margin should go up from here. Uh, so as far as the spreads on polyester are concerned, they are close to 10 rupees per kg, which are not sustainable. Uh, but they may remain like this for a quarter, two quarters, three quarters more, uh, depending on how the demand picks up in the country. Obviously, the demand remains robust and uh, there is a month-on-month -month growth on these films. Uh, when it comes to BOPP, uh, the, the, uh, the addition was, uh, the gross margins were roughly 15 rupees per kg. And uh, we again expect that that should already start going up uh, in these quarters. So in that case, what does this mean for uh, your entire year's revenue as well as uh, margin projections? Yeah, so this year, you know, a lot depends on how the raw material is there because uh, that also plays a role, especially on our specialty sales. Everything is a pass-through for us. And uh, the raw material, uh, you know, the, uh, the dollar prices went down from $1,400 to $900. And that impacted our revenue. So it's very difficult to project these numbers. Uh, these are a mix of many things, the global situation, the uh, demand supply on petrochemicals, the oil availability. So it's very difficult to project these numbers. But at a very broad level, uh, we feel that we should have uh, growth from the last year overall, though the first quarter uh, did not have growth because raw material prices should go up. The other good thing is that uh, the specialty sales, which are again down in the last two quarters, I mean, we had close to 20 quarters of quarter on quarter growth in speciality. And uh, then prior to this quarter, we had a degrowth in speciality sales because uh, many export markets were impacted. Uh, those speciality sales had gone up again from 57 to 62. And as we are there in this quarter, the numbers are again going up. So uh, many of the international markets are stabilizing for us. And we do see a ramp up in sales in those markets. A lot of new developments are happening also simultaneously. All right, uh, Pankaj, uh, you know, in times of uncertainty, sometimes you go a little bit slower on CAPEX. I believe your CAPEX plans was around 570 crores. Could you tell yeah. us what is the asset turnover on this 590 crores uh, odd? And, uh, you know, if you could give us further details on that. Yes, so see, in the short term, the uh, asset turnover ratio may look low because you take some time to build speciality sales. You may take some time to sell the entire line. But over a period of time, we expect that it should be around 1.8 to 2 times. Okay. All right. And... Uh... You know, how, will you, how do you fund this CAPEX? What's your balance sheet looking like? 
Yes, yeah, so right now we are sitting at a very comfortable position, even in these worst times, our debt to debtor ratio is 1.4 times. And uh, this 570 should largely be uh, managed through internal accruals and part of it through external debt. Uh, so as we had projected earlier also, though obviously uh, markets keep uh, shifting and uh, drifting here and there, but at the same time, we do not expect our debt to debtor ratios to go too much beyond uh, a number of two is to, uh, you know, uh, two on- At an uh, absolute uh, level, what would that different. be? Absolute, uh, we feel that 700, 750 should be the outer side for us. All right. And, uh, uh, you know, just wanted to understand the target uh, from your pet care division. You said Ziggly is doing well. It's increasing monthly. Uh, the last monthly run rate that we know of is 3, three crore rupees. Assuming it continues this way and grows a little more, 50 crores is a target which is achievable this year. And if that happens, do you break even? Yeah, this is what we are targeting to hit 50 crore number this year. We also did a, a small acquisition in the western part of the country. There was a online uh, uh, Petzi uh, company was there and we have acquired them. They were there for four or five years. So they had a lot of good learnings when it comes to online business. Uh, but 50 crore is definitely what we are targeting at. As far as the revenue, uh, as far as the profitability, uh, we do not foresee uh, you know becoming profitable. I think the earliest we feel is FY24-25. Uh, really speaking, we should be ideally profitable from 25, 26, where we should first uh, make break even and then start to make money because it's all dependent on the numbers that you do. And uh, unless we start uh, crossing 100, 150 crores, uh, profitability would be uh, difficult to have. At the same time, after three, four quarters, we, you know, we feel that the monthly or the quarterly quart uh, loss numbers should start coming down for sure. That's that's good news. Then uh, you know you have a. Uh good uh, roadmap that you've laid ahead. But Adhesive's business as well, you're going to be launching, I think, in the second half of this fiscal, right? Could you tell us That's what kind of a, what kind of revenues are we going to likely see, say, at the start? For FY24 as well, what kind of a revenue number? And maybe if you, in the next three years, what should it look like? See, in the short term, again, uh, it takes time to build customers. Uh, there's a lot of uh, development uh, time that is taken in terms of getting the trials done. And, you know, we are not acquiring technology from somewhere else. We have built our own mm. technologies as the way we have done it in films. Uh, and therefore, first year, I do not foresee a huge revenue, maybe uh, 30, 40 crores. But in the years to come, we feel that uh, given that there are three different verticals within adhesive that we have made, uh, we feel that in three years, we should be doing 200 crores. And five years, uh, we should be easily doing uh, 300 to 400 crores revenue on adhesives. Well, that's a tall ask. Just wanted to understand, you know, what uh, positioning are you using for your adhesive business mainly? Because there are some really large players in this market and a lot of them entering now as well with deep pockets. So, um, what is your strategy in the adhesive business going to be? Yes, yeah, so we are not coming in any uh, consumer adhesives. We are largely coming in the industrial adhesives, which are... Uh, uh, you know, which goes very well with our film business. So we are getting into packaging adhesives, label adhesives, and the lamination adhesives. And almost all the customers are of film already where we have a very strong branding. So initially, uh, we will get into the domestic market. And once we establish ourselves as a reasonable player in the domestic side, then we'll start exporting. So uh, this goes very well with our film business as such. So there's no pity light competition, right? Yeah. All right, take that point. Thanks a lot, Pankaj, for joining in and giving us all those details for the business going ahead. Wish you good luck for the remainder of this year and uh, the next few years as your CapEx comes on stream. With that, we'll take a short break, come back, focus on the markets and individual stocks.